Burn. Nice pictures you're having there. Huge camera. What's your intention? Yes, um, whoever tries to film uh, a game from the sidelines will notice that it's quite difficult to get the, to get the situation properly on, on film. And if you have a vantage point over the field, you can see how um, the people are moving. It's like playing chess, you are watching from the top and not um, from the sideline where you see nearly nothing. Welcome Ultimate Players, uh, my name is Bernd, I'm the uh, producer of those pole camera Ultimate Pictures um, and um, I'm here with uh, Dennis, the coach of Fruitport Cologne. Hi Bernd, nice to meet you. Hi Dennis, um, we would like to have a look on the game uh, from Cologne in the red uh, t-shirts against um, Unique, blue and white. And this uh, game wasn't one of the strongest ones, so perhaps a good opportunity to find some mistakes. Oh yes, I think we will find some. Here's a nice inside break for Munich. And again, one more, and you will see it in one and the point. No, no presence of the defense. <laughs> no, no presence of the defense, of course, yeah. We saw that often in this game. Yes, and now we have uh, perhaps already a key situation of the game, uh, a nice hack and a good grab before the zone, but um, we are not able to handle it in. Yeah, that's, I think so too. Um, I totally agree with that. This is a key situation. Here we can see now in the next second the drop and this goes on for the whole Normally a very strong receiver, Philip, um, but in this situation he already uh, had yeah. the, yeah, absolutely made the, the point with his uh, mind. <laughs> absolutely right, absolutely right, and but this goes up for the game, and here some easy game for Munich on the open side. Yeah, one, one defender was missing, I think. Yeah, there was one break early, and then it goes up on the break side. Okay, let's see what happens now. I'm not sure if we will succeed to the disc into the zone. Yeah, I think so. that was a great pass. Yeah, there was yeah. a lot of empty space yeah. which we used to score. And we see again Munich in the offense. So it was a, a nice defense and the stroke goes 50-50%, yeah. so this is okay. This happens sometimes. Uh, I also think it's, it's okay. I'm not able to manage that. And now uh, we have a strong defense on the sideline from Munich and... Uh, this is uh, well done, without taking too much risk, we have it uh, up the field. Yeah, it was a nice 20 meter pass in the end zone. The catch was great, absolutely no problem. So. I think in this uh, phase, there was, uh, Munich was two or three points up, but nothing was lost. We are still in the, in the f uh, first part of the game. And so some here's some give and goes. There's one pass on the open side, and then maybe here I want to stop it. So um, here we can see some um, some give and go movements, and uh, Cologne was not able to stop it, and um, this was a problem in the whole game, I think. Um, we managed that later in the game a little bit better, but on the beginning it was really, really difficult. Munich mm -hmm. was doing there a great job, but um, we have not the confidence to um, to defend these give and goes. And um, Munich this is one, two times, then get in the power position, the hack comes and scored a few, few times. Like this. Yes, yeah, so the handler was the guys who, who were able to 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 get rid of the defense and uh, score. Yeah. yeah. It's a give and go. Yes, and we couldn't stop it. You know, and I think here comes the next. Okay, what we can see here is that the player is um, not able, the mark is not able to um, defend the dump pass and. Then the dump pass goes out, and immediately the full swing is coming. Yes, but uh, isn't it a little bit difficult to prevent the dump pass? And if you look uh, um, to the other direction, there is a lot of space uh, in the inside. So it's also um, the task of the marker to, to close the inside. So how to close uh, both the dump and the inside? It is hard. Uh, ex exactly, you're right. 
Um, but what we also can see here is um, the player who's defending the dump handler is too far away. So there's no pressure on the dump house. And the full swing. Yes, there's, those are small details in the, in the defense. Yeah. If we make it a little bit better, it will be much harder for Munich. And again, the next, the next give and go. So they make it look easy. Yeah. So let's see how we solve the problem. We have our, one of our strongest handler at the disc. Yeah, there's inside coming. There's a nice flow on the disc. Oh, red catch. Bad pass. <laughs> bad pass, red pass. Red catch, yeah, of course. And the nice, nice flick yes. in the land zone. Yes, yes, in the space. Yeah. And now... Yeah, so this is a question. We had some pressure in the defense. Um, no. And we, we decided to, to take the risk. Yeah, sometimes we need some passes like this. I think sometimes every team needs some risky passes. Long hugs to get out of the pressure. Oh, yeah. This, this looks nice. And this was a good inside. Then the uh, 20 meter pass goes out and nice defense by yes. Okay, what we can see here now is we are defending a stack and three people in front of the stack um, trying to defend the open space and nobody is looking for the player and the behind from Munich Kelts on the break side. When this goes up on the break side, Munich was not able to make so much with this nice break. Some giving goes again and a totally free hug. Then you can see that Mark was not not good, was not on the point. Yes. yes. No, there's we have to so give and go again. Yeah, so you're on the open side, then one break, the swing. This mark again. Okay, another break here, because here we can see the great possibility for switch. The so both red players just communicate too late. They are in perfect position here, and uh, it's amazing that they, they don't manage it. <laughs> yeah, I think this is practice and this is um, to get experience in the game. Okay, we will see uh, what happens now. We had some luck that the pass was bad. Yeah, but, uh, of course. Yeah. Here we could see the, the communication problem in, in, in the Cologne team. Yeah. I think this is a uh, mention. Uh, and the, again, the short inside. This is always no good throw. Get the break, get the swing, on full swing on the open side. Yes, but they uh, managed to stop it. And then he yeah, had was no content. Yeah, there was a, maybe the chance to throw a hug and then yes. this goes in the pouch. Yes. There is this dumb and the full swing. They, they always manage the dumb swing or the yeah. give and go. Yeah, yeah. And we was not able to to defend this. And then they stack up in the end zone. There you can see it really good. Yes. And then the hammer goes out. Perhaps it's not in the in the mind of the defenders how important those small uh, small uh, short passes are for the offense. And so. Yeah. We're gonna try our, our best to, to to prevent them. Yeah, there was a, there was a give and go again and N nice exactly, by Wolf here. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. But there was again the the power position and the hack goes out. 
Yes, we also handle it, but we don't get the power position. Yeah. We always yeah. uh, have a strong mark if, yeah. we, if we catch the disc. Now we can see um, how the zone is working. Uh, the unique zone is working against our offense. So, um, what we can see here now is um, the first time Munich plays a zone and um, we can see that we have one handler, three um, um, people in the, or players in the fence, two really aggressive um, wings and one deep. Um, and it was uh, really difficult to play against this zone because um, the defense makes it really hard to have short throws in the middle of the field and the aggressive wings make it really hard to have the, continu uh, the continuation on the wings um, so this is a great um, great possibility to see what happened on the field now Yes, and it's uh, also obvious that uh, the um, offenders in red um, are, um, they are building a big circle and they don't attack the middle um, sometimes we can see something like a popper, but there never have been two poppers, uh, and they they are they are missing. Exactly, but we can see that in the middle of the field there's no red person in trying to get the D, trying to get through the cup, through the fence. There's no continuation, mm -hmm. no no way, no uh, chance to pass. Yeah, even even if uh, the, the popper wouldn't get the disc, he would uh, keep the, the defense busy. If the defense is just standing, it's just what they will, what they enjoy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Fair on. Yeah, so we, we can we so can. They have the popper. And now, now we should get the next pass, but there is yeah. no one responsible. Yeah. <laughs> So we have to play it back again and... Sometimes we get something like a breakthrough, but if we get such uh, small breaks, we are not able to find a continuation. We just play it back to the handlers and uh, that's the problem, I think. Yeah. There again, no, no chance to pass, to get through the middle. Uh, the red popper is uh, not activating, there's nobody inside. I only see white jerseys. And... Yeah. Exactly. Of course, uh, if something is running there, it's difficult to get the disc, but um, it's an option to... Uh, and now we get the next yeah. pass, that's, yeah. that's a problem. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And we are standing again. And then... And from sometimes, static, from static after, after 20 or 30 passes, uh, there's a drop. Yeah. After some while. Yeah. So I think the game is uh, slowly coming to an end. Um, Munich yeah. is still some, some points to in advance. So we try to get a new offense. We try the sideline stack. Okay, one break here because we have the nice give and go. We get in the power position. We have the possibility to have a hack, and the two red players are not seeing the situation and going not for the deep cut. Yes, perhaps uh, the, the right of the two uh, offenders uh, is in a good position, but the left one uh, does, is not helping him um, by um, dragging away his defender. Yeah, exactly. So both have the possibility to, have a, to make a deep cut. So oh, this nice looks nice. Break, nice break, and then we have to play these these hard swings, but we have to play them, yes. and we was not able to do this. And this looks nice. good. And then the catch and the really nice defense from Munich. Yes, uh, you, you can talk a lot about tactics uh, if there is a strong uh, athletic defense. Um, you have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, you're right. And sometimes you have to catch the disc early in the game <laughs> to get the pressure on the uh, team. Uh, you are so right. <laughs> yeah. So there, nice give and go. Power position. Hack comes out. Oh, I think this is the last point we see here. Yeah. And they have the patience to make it safe. Yeah, okay. But the perfect throw, but... Yes. Um, 
No problem. <laughs> yes, no, no, no good game from our team, but uh, perhaps a good game uh, for for the coach to see uh, how we can make it better next time. Um, how how did you um, like this opportunity to um, have a look uh, on the game uh, from a, from a vantage point uh, from 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 a pole camera? Yeah, um, I think so too. It's an it's a nice possibility um, you get. You can analyze the movements of your players or from the whole team, and I think this can be a great advantage um, for other teams against other teams. Yes, thank you, uh, Dennis, for um, commenting on the game. And uh, well, I think we will meet on the next tournament. Of course, I think so too. Thank you.